Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Steve with HowToMakeMoneyAsAKid.com and today I've got Mike here who is a computer programming electronic genius. So anyway, I'm really excited to introduce you to him. So Mike, let us, uh, let us know a little bit about you. Like what, how old are you? Um, what are some of your hobbies? Like, Tell us a little background about yourself. All right. So my name is Mike Abbott. I'm 15. I like to program computers. I like to fix computers. Anything with computers, really. I just enjoy it. I do all kinds of crazy. I make little gadgets that do everything from being a TV remote to making a radio station if I want to. So how did you get started? Like, what was the first way you started making money? Well, originally, well, the first job I had that was a regular job where I had it every week was mowing my grandpa's lawn. And every week I would, after school, go over to his house and I would mow his lawn for five dollars. Nice. And then that was two or three summers ago. Um, the next summer, I worked at a Cub Scout day camp, and you know, if you like to work with kids, it was a great job, but for me, it just wasn't really my thing, and I worked there all summer. You know, I made a pretty good amount of money, but again, it just wasn't really my thing, so I didn't do that this last summer, and instead, I worked on computers. Cool. So tell us, so tell us a little more about that. Like you've used your computer skills to fix computers and make money. So tell us a little about that. How you did that? Okay. So I, what I would do is I would find out if somebody needed their computer fixed. For example, my teacher had her laptop and it was broken. It wouldn't work. And as to put it in her words, it was a really expensive paperweight. So. <laughs> I took it home, she brought it to school for me to take home, and I booted it up, and I figured out what was wrong with it. It turns out she had been hit really hard with a virus, and so we got the virus off, I cleaned the hard drive, I got it running fast again, and then I brought it back to her, and she paid me for it. How much did you pay? Um, I charge $20 for every computer I fix. Just $20? Yes. Or is it $20 an hour? I charge... $20 because most of my problems, most computer problems, if you know what you're doing, can be fixed in about an hour. There are sometimes extenuating circumstances where I will charge more, but for the majority of jobs, I just charge $20. Oh, because most of the time you can get it done in like yeah. an hour. And people look at that and they say, oh, I can get my computer fixed for $20, I should take it to this kid instead of taking it to the computer store in town where they want. Fifty or even a hundred dollars to get it fixed. Right. I mean, you could even charge probably thirty or forty, yeah. and they'd still be happy. Yes. So, how have you got? How did you get clients? How did you let people know that you wanted to fix computers and make money that way? Well, originally, it started by word of mouth. Um, I just, for example, that teacher, she had just heard that I was really good with computers from her daughter, who we were kind of friends, and so daughter told my teacher about it and my teacher was like oh can you fix my computer and then after that other people heard about how I had fixed my teacher's computer and everybody thought it was so cool and I had kids at school can you fix my hard drive so I had a kid bring me like their hard drive they a few months before it had quit working completely and so their dad had thrown the computer in the garbage but they fished out the hard drive and they brought it to me and again, you know, in about an hour, I had it working again. And then I brought it back to school and made $20. Yeah, wow. That sure beats, uh, what, minimum wage, $7.50 or whatever? Yeah. $7.75, I don't know what it's. And of important. course, it's not a steady job. You have to go out and you have to find people who want their computer fixed. But the flip side to that is that if you don't necessarily want to work as hard one month, you don't have to go out and fix all these computers. It's optional how much work you do, especially where I am, where I manage all of the jobs I do. Yeah, that's awesome. And how did you learn about, how did you first learn how to fix computers? I mean, what did you do to do, learn how to do that? 
Well, let's see. In kindergarten, my dad brought home this old computer, and it was really slow, but he gave it to me just to mess around with, and I broke it. But I, I did fix it eventually, and then I broke it again, but learning to fix computers, for me, has just been a gradual process. Every year I get better and better at it. I start to know tricks that I didn't know. I were, I had no idea you could even do that. Right, right. It wasn't even, I couldn't even imagine that you would do that. And um, you learn all these little tricks and tips and even just Googling stuff. Mm -hmm. I've learned so much from the internet and it really is a great learning resource. If you want to learn a new skill, the internet is great. Yeah, like, yeah. there's already like tons of stuff out there, so you can yeah. kind of teach yourself. And if you come across a problem that you've never heard of before, just Google it, and learn somebody how. else will <laughs> probably have the same problem. Yeah, that's so cool. It makes it so easy. It's like, you don't have to be, I mean, genius, you just started breaking computers, and then, and then you turn They the, need to be fixed. And then you finally, you learn how to fix those things you broke. Yeah. And, Last year, I decided, well, it's a hobby of mine. Why not make some money off of it? Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I love how you've taken hobbies and everything you love to do and are super passionate about and uh, made money out of it, but also have fun with it. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. It's going to, I mean, those are the kind of things that are going to take you a lot farther if you really enjoy doing it. And, you know, that's how he's learned how to do all this stuff is he just, you know, he's just taught himself and looked online and, you know, he figured out how to do it just from, um, just from having little ideas of projects he wants to do and then not letting anything stop him and just figuring out how to make it happen. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. So, uh, with the Doctor Who thing, this screwdriver what what are some fun things you guys did I, you were telling me earlier yeah. well that's we went fun to things. costco and turned off all of costco's tvs <laughs>